All right, so I'm gonna plant some more flowers in these uh, things I got from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I could also plant them in the raised bed, but I think I wanna start them in these little trays from Dollar Tree. So I think I'm gonna try to do these flowers first. So I have a bunch of these, I have these sweet peas. So about three inches apart, cover with two inches of fine soil, firmly tighten and keep evenly moist. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do that. I also have these impatience, bloom summer to fall. Okay, maybe I won't plant these today, but I can plant these. I'll plant both of these right now, the blue button and the sweet pea. So I'm gonna start those. I'm gonna take this front part off. So I've been watching a lot of videos. There's just, when you first start gardening, it's kind of overwhelming. I've found because there's so much information. So I'm watching all these videos and one channel that I've come across, you probably, if you wanna start gardening, you probably come across this channel is Epic Gardening. He's got like almost 3 million subscribers, but I've been watching a lot of his videos and it's just very good information. But it's like there's so much information and it's so much information about each plant and how to you know strategize and how to plant certain things and the kind of soil you need and this, you need this and you need this and you need to know this and don't do this too much water and put it in the sun and don't put it in the sun and it needs to be this temperature and there's just so many things going on. Don't harvest it before this. You gotta kill this off of you. There's so many things so it's just a lot of information and it I think can seem very overwhelming and for me I'm just like you know what if it works out it works out and if it doesn't then it doesn't kind of thing. So anyway so I'm gonna get my gardening gloves on and I already have some soil already mixed up for this but I'm gonna have to mix up more because I don't have a ton of it. attempt to plant some basil in the raised garden bed so I am gonna use this because uh, I really I love basil honestly this is sweet Italian which is my favorite so let me see five to ten to germinate fourth of an inch to sow speed spacing and they're they're good as like border so I'm gonna do I kind of was thinking about what I wanted to do yesterday and I want to do a lot of herbs and make this mostly like herbs and things and kind of plant them along the border of here so I think that's what I'll do right now but I think I'm gonna water it first only a fourth of an inch all right so I planted some new plants so I've got my lavender I've got sweet pea and I've got Bachelor Button, which is a really pretty blue flower that I picked up from Dollar Tree. So the Bachelor Button says it's supposed to be one of the easiest to grow and quickest to bloom. So I'm very excited about that. <laughs> very exciting. And then in here, I planted some basil. So I planted the basil along here. And my plan for this is that I'm gonna plant all of my herbs along the borders of the raised bed. And then I just planted a few chives back here. We're really not chives people, but you know, um, that might be kind of interesting. We'll see. I also planted a cantaloupe way back here. You can't see it, but it's this one right here. So I planted that cantaloupe 
and I only planted two seeds. So this is what I would do, honestly, if I could go back in time, I would <laughs> with so many things because like I said, there's just so much information. So honestly, it's like you're just bound to make a mistake because there's just so many different options and things you could do and different mistakes you could make and it's just like, it is what it is. So if I could go back in time, especially with like the size like I wish I had just planted one or two seeds and that's it. Literally one or two seeds, that's it. One or two cells, like I didn't need this full, you know, four trays full of seeds. Not really anyway. And I think that I wish I had done more research about, okay, like what do I really want? Like I wish I had thought about it more and things like that. Cause it's like, well, where am I gonna plant this stuff once it's bloom? Like for example, these, I mean, these need to be I need to plant these up probably, honestly, probably today. <laughs> I probably should do that right now. Um, Cause these are obviously like competing with each other and blah, blah, blah. So probably should plant those up. They smell really good, the leaves. They're kind of like peppery and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm probably gonna plant these up. And this is actually, by the way, I just wanna say, this little snake plant is also growing. So I did manage to save it somehow. It is growing, I pulled it out a little bit and it's getting longer and it's like growing down. So guys, pick up your little pieces off the grocery store. I found that at Lowe's, I just found like a piece of snake plant. Brought it home, dried it out, and I put it in a plant pot and it's working out. It's working out. So yeah, I just really need to maximize my space because honestly, I really wanna keep a lot of this stuff inside in this room and because it, I don't think like, you know, it says you're supposed to plant after dangers of frost have completely gone. Well, for us, you know, I thought that time was maybe even like a week ago, two weeks ago. Um, no, because it was 70 degrees. Well, no, we wake up today and there's still frost. So I think we're probably more so and in, in like according to our, you know, zone, gardening zone honestly we're probably closer to april where you're planting things outside and gardening outside and transplanting things outside so it's just kind of like i don't know i i guess i just would rather start them all in here and have them all function in here but yeah i think i'm gonna work on these right now i'm trying to i'll have to kill some for sure because i don't need this many <laughs> don't need that many all right so i just spent couple minutes just getting all of these squash seedlings so I just I've been using these I really like these if you see these at Dollar Tree pick these up I like these little needle nose uh, pliers so they're good for preciseness but yeah I ended up killing off and I just left only the strong ones so now I know to do it earlier so I'm just gonna go through and you know kill off the ones that are not as strong, you wanna leave the strongest one. And then for the carrots, these are gonna be a disaster, which I actually, some people were saying, some people say it's really easy to grow carrots, some people say it's really hard. These obviously went crazy. Um, I think that they really need a lot of light and they need a lot of moisture, which I come out and water these every day. And if I can, I'm going to try to separate them. I mean, this is like literally 400 carrots. Like this is a disaster. I think I'll probably just take try to take one cell and just try to separate them as best I can. I don't know what to do. I, I'm they might be chalked, honestly, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing right now out here working in the garden. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but maybe I could use them in compost somehow. Alright guys, are you ready? I'm a spoiled little brat. I have a hobby and immediately somehow I have not one, but two raised garden beds. <laughs> so here's the new setup. I'll give you a little tour. I like the orientation of everything. So I've got my little table over there where I do all of my seedlings and things. You know the deal. Love that. This is the new one. So I'm about to water this one right now. And <laughs> I mean, guys, this is my, my in-laws got me this. It's just hilarious that I just started <laughs> And all of a sudden I have two, but I am very grateful. So then I've got this one, as you know, put this little table so I could be able to uh, 
film myself while I'm doing this. So let me grab my, I just filled my watering can up. I just want to get the soil um, moist. And it's kind of, I it up kind of a lot. Just prepping it so it'll be ready when I want to start planting stuff in here. But I don't think my stuff is quite ready yet, unfortunately, for transport. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, it's been probably a while since I've done plant food. So I'm going to add some plant food to my other little watering can and just go through and water everything and top it all off really quick. Actually, you know what? Probably should do it tomorrow. Never mind. I'm not doing that. Oh, hold on. One, one other thing before I go. Um, I did move these over here. I'm hoping that the, the light will kind of bounce off and hopefully be able to reach it. I'm not sure. I'm not going to keep these under these heat mats for very long. I just wanted to put the lettuce back under here because I really want it to, number one, grow, but I felt like they were kind of stressed out just call it intuition after i had cut a lot of them and killed off a lot of them which by the way we tasted the microgreens and they're so good it just it tasted so good so that was the first thing we ever ate which feels really good but anyway um yeah so i just wanted to put them back under here because i wanted them to sort of like pop back up and they really did i feel like these were kind of drooping a little bit after i killed a lot of them yesterday and now they're kind of back you know living it up a little bit and I've actually got some peppers coming through which these just started like literally today once I put them on the heat mat I'm telling you the heat mat the combo of the heat mat and the light is the best ever it's just awesome so I highly recommend a lot of people I feel like don't like to do that from what I've seen but I feel like I've gotten really great results so far. I'm um, like I said, not an expert, but these ones are also, like I said, looking pretty good. But yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna come through tomorrow and give them some plant food. So what I use is just that big um, bottle of miracle Grow over there. And I just add it to my water bottle or my watering can. So yeah, I'm gonna probably do that tomorrow. So anyway, that was a really fun day in I'm calling it the greenhouse now. Can I call it that or no? In the sunroom. And things are looking up. It's really fun to just be out here doing my thing. <laughs> it's it's really fun for me and it's just like peaceful. I listen to, sometimes I listen to music. Most of the time I have nothing on. I'm wearing clothes, I just don't have any. I don't have any music on or videos or anything, but I just love it. Like I love coming out here every day and seeing things grow and it's so rewarding. It's like so simple and like it's just cheap. It's pretty cheap too. I mean, just to like buy a two dollar seeds and just like see what happens. I mean, it's just and like to t you every day you have like you have something to honestly like wake up for. It's awesome. So anyway, that's it for me today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Stay tuned for more garden updates, and I shall see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>